What's up, everybody? It's your boy Z-Man here to bring you part four of our Let's Play of Spyro the Dragon. In the last part, we got all the gems in this little hub world here in the Peacekeeper's home world. And uh, we're about to head into this cliff town. Uh, no treasure, extra treasure found, unfortunately. No, no cool treasure stuff for us. So, cliff town is actually a pretty cool uh, little place. We have a few new enemies, we actually have quite a few new enemies that we're gonna have to deal with here. Most most uh, levels have their own unique individual enemies, but this one especially, we have two enemies that we're gonna have to deal with most, and it's the, uh, for lack of a better term, the cooking mamas, <laughs> as I shall call them, because they're always standing next to these pots and stuff, so. It's not like sexist or anything, they're cooking. It's clear what they're doing. I, for I always forget about these gems over here. I need to remember not to do that. And I know that there's something I can do over there, but I don't think I can do it yet. A few more gems this way, and booyah. A few extra points for us. We also have these like, what are they, matadors? I guess? Well, they look like this. Hey. Uh, the cooking, the cooking lady, obviously she's big. She cannot be, uh, charged into. You have to use your flamethrower attack on her. Um, and any pot that she's standing next to, as long as you breathe fire, I don't think that ramming into it does anything, but if you breathe fire on it, you're going to get a, at least one gem out of it. I'm not sure. Some of them have blue gems, some of them I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're getting into the point where we're going to see a lot of, uh, yellow gems coming up here soon now, I believe. I'm just going to quickly check this first part, because there's three main sections. Uh, there's the ground level, the rooftops, which we got to one of the rooftops, but most of the rooftops here are not accessible yet. And then there's that up there area where you see that dragon in the distance. We also cannot make it there yet, so keep that in mind. Two more matadors down. I don't... What would you call those? I hear you. I hear you, Egg Thief. I will catch you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Where are you? I thought I knew where you, I thought I knew where the, the thief the egg thief was. There's a 10 10 gem. You're mine, dude. Yep. Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Where I lost him already. That was fast. Oh well, too bad. Let's go ahead and grab this dragon before going off on our search for the egg thief again. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Thank you, Clancy Brown. So, yeah, we cannot use fire attacks on metal... metal armor-wearing people. Where are you? I hear you. And it's annoying the crap out of me. Where did you go? There he is. Come here, thief. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. Got him. Got him. Barely. Woo. That was like the edge of my fire attack. So now we got our fourth dragon egg. I don't believe there's too many more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more dragon eggs left. And we will have saved all the dragon babies. You're welcome, dragon babies. Where else can we go? Oh, two more. Five gems here. And I believe we're at... The last part. I gotta remember not try to not stop around these guys. Cause if it's just stay out of range of anybody in a metal, metal suit, and they won't hurt you. Basically, don't do the wrong attack, and they won't hurt you. That's also another way to go about it. Where were those? Uh, I believe they were over here. Maybe they were all, back, all the way back here. These things, little Velociraptor babies. Those are the things that give you butterflies for sparks. Yeah, I guess there can be dinosaurs if this is the land of dragons. It's nothing nothing too weird, if you ask me. I, I, mixing dinosaurs with dragons, that's just a natural thing to do. I see you gems over here. I will get you now, instead of having to fall back down later. How many gems do we need here? We need 400 gems. Oh, jeez, 400 gems. It's going to be a lot of fun. Five, ten more right there. Um... This is one of the levels, another one of those levels where it's hard, I found, I found it hard to get all the gems, find all the gems at least. There wasn't anything down there, no. Die, no, I attacked you and she apparently didn't hurt 
cool. Thanks, thanks for not hurting me, Cooking Mama. That game's like got a memetic status now. I've never played the game. I have no interest in ever trying to play the game. If you ever request me to LP the game, I will say no. I will not LP that game for you. I don't care how much you want me to do it. It's not gonna happen. No, Joe Spyro, fall! Don't fall like that, asshole. Dumb dragon. Now I gotta go all the way back here. I mean, sure, it was. Te I'm technically the one controlling Spyro, but it's totally Spyro's fault. It's never the player's fault, so it's the character's fault. If you haven't learned that from the internet yet, uh, start start learning more stuff. Hey, it's not mad at it. Kind of look like a. Well, what would you like the Zoro character? Except for he's got a white metal cape instead of a black cape. Yeah, he's kind of, kind of got a Zoro is. Zoro-ish feel to him. Oh, I wish I could. I gotta get to that. There's one thing that we can't do up here. We're gonna have to climb back up this, I believe. Unless, um, I think, I think once you get to this point, it activates the sparkly lift up. Maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. But let's just keep climbing, climbing for now because we're not quite done here yet. There's a dragon up here for us to see. Two more Cooking Mamas dead, and their gems to grab from the, uh, their, their cooking. I wonder what they're making. Looks like, uh, that's, that's, that's nothing I'd eat. That's not edible, I can tell you that more. Enzo the Dragon! Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? You'd think he would have been, like, an Italian, Italian, I don't know, what, what, en Enzo's just an Italian name, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I've heard plenty of stereotypical Italian names. Enzo was one of them. Alright, so what did he say? He said, Cl glide across the river, and we shall see what we can see. Because there's more enemies over here. These bird creatures, which I don't believe... I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. I've got, I've got an extra hit on Sparks here. I'm gonna test... I don't believe you can charge into them, but I could be wrong. I always just uh, flame attack them. No, you can easily charge into them. Just don't be stupid about it. Always be charging when around birds. You're dead. I like we get like the cartoony chicken. What is it? They lose all their feathers and you can see the skins. That's a very cartoon element. You watched any like the Warner Brothers Bugs Bunny cartoons or uh, Foghorn Leghorn he had that all the time those it's like bare skin it, look, it looks so much just like the chicken I don't know why but it's appetizing it's like, I want to eat that chicken Marco Polo you've reached the highest point in Clifftown you can get to almost anywhere from here if I were you I'd use that whirlwind there Yeah, you can get to any point in Clifftown from here, except for, you know, that uh, top over there. But there is a sparkly, sparkly lift thing right here if you ever want to get back up. So there's that. Let's get this one last bird, because he's got two gems that I need, and there's a couple. I think that's it for gems here. I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure we have to come up here one more time anyway, because here's two gems that I want to grab. Anything else I can think of? Let's, let's, let's lift ourselves back up. There is one rooftop that we need to be up here to get to. And it's this one right here. Yay, we did it. Two more chests for us. And um, actually, we need to get to another rooftop because I wasn't smart about this. I forgot there's a big rooftop over here. Here, two of them actually that we need to get to. Another, ooh, a ten gem, nice. Thank you, ten Trev. No, 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 I didn't want to fall. This is so not cool. Great. Okay. I'm gonna test the theory here. No, I can't make that. All right. Back across the river to the sparkly, the sparkly thing. That's all. That's about the only thing that I can call it at this point. This, this entire level might just be the episode, unfortunately, for us. All right, let's get up to this roof. Oh, Spyro! 
Make the rooftop. Come on, man. Don't be stupid. I'm, I'm sure it was... I mean, yes, it was my flying... Okay, that was just my fault. One more time. Trust me, I can do this, okay? Platforming skills and stuff, you know. I have those sometimes when I try hard. There we go. Ten more gems there. I don't believe I can make that. I cannot make that rooftop. One more time up. Oh, actually, I think we need to go up there two more times. Two more times up. Don't worry. We're almost done using that thing here. And great. Okay. I'm just... Yeah, you know, I'm just completely failing at this entire game at the moment. I really shouldn't be, because I did a lot of practice on... Thanks for not... Well, that's actually pretty good momentum for a 3D platformer. It has a little bit of a stop time when you're charging, so... Don't be stupid. Stay in school. Learn how to charge effect effectively. It helps with your control. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. Okay, so instead we're going to do, because I believe it's possible, maybe I can, I'm probably completely wrong here, but I'm going to keep trying, nope, I got it, there we go, fuse is lit, which means that that firework is going to go off and explode the one chest that we couldn't get to. Actually, I forgot there's... I can just climb directly up to that chest now. Thanks to the power of the sparkly lights. Everyone loves the sparkly lights. I saw that gem. I saw those gems. Those were about to evade me. I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, wait. That's the, uh, that's the chest that we couldn't open. Perfect. We did it. Chests are now open. I mean, the chest is open. We got all those. How many more? We're looking at... 35. If I remember correctly, I think I know where they are. Please make this good Spyro. Good dragon. They should be over. If I can I make this jump, should be able to. Right back here should be the last of our gems. Only a, only a few more here. 25 gem. That's why you needed to come back here. And we're done, right? Two... Oh, great. Two gems. Two stinking gems. How did I forget where these were? Was I, I'm missing... I'm missing one gem. Where is it? I'm trying desperately to think. It might be up top, actually. The more that I think about it, I guess we'll see. I'm going to go check a bunch of stuff, and hopefully, through the, through the power of friendship and teamwork, I will find out where this, where this gem is at. It should, it shouldn't be, no, there it is, two gems. Woo, I did it. I figured it all out, all on my own. I at least knew it was across the river. That's worth something. I should be able to make this jump. All right, let's return home. I believe we are completely done with this level. All 400 gems, all three dragons have been saved. Thank you, Spyro, through your great contributions. The dragon world is a little bit safer. So 400 more gems added to the collection, as well as three more dragons. We are... What are we at? We got 22 dragons. We're 19% of the way done with this game, and I have yet to do the. Uh, I I have I have yet to do the uh, flying sequence anyway. So we have that to look forward to. And just for the record, if you've already defeated these enemies and gotten their gems, what happens when you defeat them is they drop like these little orbs. And when you get so many orbs, I believe it looks like there's like 20 orbs, you get an extra life for Spyro, but I've already got plenty of lives. But in the next part, we are going to head over this way and head into Dry Canyon, the second level that we're going to be doing here in Spyro. So, thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like and favorite and leave a comment below. Uh, help support the series because it really does help when you guys like and comments and all of that stuff. 
Thanks, Voice Crack, for making that sound epic. Um, I'm having a ton of, I'm having a ton of fun playing this series, and it'd be great if this series like caught on because Spyro is a great game, and I feel like there's probably people out there that remember it badly because of the PS2 and uh, the, the early PS3 days, and now now he's just thought of as the Skylanders mascot, which is really stupid. But that's that's for a different video. Thanks for watching. I'll see all of you guys next time.